Hello, beer troopers, and welcome to another beer review with me, Peter, the master of hobbits. Today, joined by Prince. Yes. Today, we're looking at another beer that I got from Kiosk, the web shop and physical store over in Copenhagen. They're kind enough to send me a box of beer, so thanks to Kiosk for the beer. Check out their shop. Link for the web shop is down below. So this is another beer from Gypsy Hill. I recently had their session IPA called Hepcat, which was nice enough. Have you ever had anything from Gypsy Hill? Nope. It's one of the newer breweries in London. They're doing a lot of hoppy beers. So this was a limited run they did, and this is their Karashi Double IPA. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. But uh, this Double IPA is the tri a tribute to the team working at Gypsy Hill, which is pretty cool. It's a Double IPA made with A20 citrus yeast from Oregon. I've never heard of that. Nope. And then mm. it's on 8%. The bittering hops are Magnum. The aroma hops are Nelson Sauvin, Motueka, and Eldorado. And the malt in here is Extra Pale Mary's Otter, Flake Malted Oats, and Carapils. And the only thing I dislike about this <laughs> is that it was bottled on the 17th of, is that what, uh, August, right? It is August, yeah. So it's three months old now. Yeah. Uh, we'll give it a go anyway. We'll see. I mean, yeah, I usually like to see. get these, f the fresher the better, so. But hey, might still hold up, so. Yeah. We got Karoshi poured, and that is fucking turkey gravy. Yeah, oh. it's really <laughs> turkey gravy. That is super hazy in the glass. Bam. Um... Or New England clam chowder. It's a very nice, hazy, very orange color. Yep. Um, yeah, just like straight orange, pretty much. Yeah. It has orange juice. It looks orange. like pulpy orange juice. juice. Yeah. Smoothie. And a foamy but very persistent yeah. off-white head. But yeah, let's check out the aroma. Yep. Yeah, it's it's not crazy no. popping, but it kind of smells like it has been. It's yeah, it has a like a twinge of that beginning old hop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it's not, it's not flat. No, no, You no. know, the aroma's not flat. I'm getting some tropical vibes. Yeah. yeah. Lots of sweet citrus fruit. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of orange. Yeah, orange for sure. For me, it's very orangey. Mm-hmm. Orange rind and orange peel, but also orange. Maybe now more orange of... peel and pith than actual juice. Yeah. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's based mostly citrus fruits. There is a bit of a sweet malt profile. Yeah, I would me. say, yeah. Uh, I would say so. Crackery, bready, and maltiness. <laughs> but the aroma isn't too explosive, but it kind of smells but it's not, like... It's not bad. No, no, no. In any way. But it smells like the aroma has been pretty explosive. Yeah, exactly. Point. It smells like it's been pretty good, actually. Yeah, let's give it a taste. Cheers. Yep. And thanks to Kiosk for the beer. Yeah. Not crazy fresh. No. It has that... It's funny, funny because some years ago you usually you know had these older IPAs more often, yeah, yeah. Because you know there's more focus on freshness now, and yeah. it kind of reminds me of some of the IPAs I had two or three years ago. Yeah, yeah we would probably use your, lose your shit over it because yeah, uh, yeah. Wow, it's very bitter. It, well, this is not very bitter, but there is just something in there. I'm not sure if it's because of supercharged dry hopping, or. It is actual DMS, but there is a vegetal flavor for me, like a slight vegetal yeah. flavor. Um, uh, I actually agree. It does has ha, does have this uh, slightly vegetal, almost peppery. Yeah, but could, that can be from the hops. But the, the no, no, but but it has the like... predominant flavor though. Otherwise, hop wise, is orange. Yeah, and like pithy dried orange rind peels. Mm. And not uh, very juicy actually. It's it's no. a bit, but not very. It's no, and um, it's got a bit of a maybe a piney type flavor too. Yeah, like it sure is haze for days. Some a bit of resin juicy. actually, maybe oh. because of that slightly veg vegetal peppery grass. But it's piney. light. That vegetal thing. Yeah, it's very light. Yeah, it's not too disturbing. Um, I just wish for a bit more of everything to be honest. Mm. But it, it's three months, so. I don't know how this was fresh, guys. No. If you had it fresh, let us know if you're in the UK. It's also a tad of booze, actually. Yeah, there's a hit of alcohol to it. Yeah, but yeah, I think it's an okay double IPA. Uh, actually, yeah. I actually think I preferred their session IPA. Yeah. Uh, so I'm going to go, I think I went 86 or 7, or maybe even 88, but I'm okay. like 83 on this, I think. 82. Yeah, yeah maybe 82. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's, it's not a bad beer or anything. It's just. You can taste that might have been a bit better, and yeah. there's that kind of twinge of almost vegetal note. I'd say if you are on Kiosk Shop, check out the Session IP instead. I think they have some more stuff from them, but 
Yeah, this one is not my favorite. No, uh, but it's it's definitely as you know it's drinkable. Yeah, it's a drinkable. You it's know, yeah enjoyable enough IPA. It's just not yeah. like when you see that and you hear those hops, you expect. Yeah, but again, if you paid for it, it's okay. It's not bad in any way. Yeah. So, uh, if you guys had a chance to try the Karoshi Double IPA by Gypsy Hill, I'd love to hear what you thought, especially if you had it fresh. That'd be fun to hear. Um, because I have a feeling it would have been a bit better. Yeah. So thanks a ton to Chuck for the beer still anyways. You guys are awesome. Uh, check them out. Link for their shop is down below. And as always, remember to comment, subscribe. Check out the Facebook fan page and Twitter and Instagram. And give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. And we're going to say cheers. Cheers. And see you guys in another beer review.